guys, YouTube people, world, whoever, wherever. Anyway, welcome back, Half Fast 719. Just driving in the Audi. Just wanted to do a little update, or I'll just tell you guys the update, because I'm gonna talk about more stuff. Anyway, um, update on the Audi. Seems to be driving really good. Cut this retard off. I don't know why he's driving in the fast lane. Typical. Damn it. Can't stand people that drive in the fast lane. Just sitting there. Anyway. So, Audi's running good. Um, I do have new tires on it. Um, I ended up getting some more Bridgestone tires. I can't remember what they're even called, but they're uh, 80,000 mile uh, warranty tire. Uh, they were $1,400. Uh, yeah, $1,400 bucks. Um, that came from Discount Tire, America's Tire, whatever you want to call it. With a certificate, certificates are thirty-eight dollars a piece, but they're a road quiet. I can't remember what they're called. Um, let me grab a receipt real quick. I'll tell you what they're called. They're called Taranza. T U R A N Z A. Quiet. Quiet track. Ranza Quiet Track. Um, the tires that are supposed to be for the car are supposed to be 255, 40, 19. I opted to go an inch taller, so I got 255, 45, 19. And um, yeah, I gotta say they're they're pretty quiet. They're uh, almost they seem like a softer tire. So I don't know how they're going to last 80,000 miles, but we'll find out. We'll see. So this is basically where I'm going to be coming next month. This is Baker, California. So it's Death Valley, Cal Baker Road. So Death Valley, you basically come to Baker and you take the only highway that's in Baker. Baker is known for the thermostat world's largest thermostat see it says oh yeah I don't know if you can see but it's 60 degrees anyway it stinks really bad in this in this town um <clears throat> my stomach's hurting now it's all the, I think it's all the grease traps are getting pumped Ooh. anyway so I'm gonna be going up to Dumont Dunes Dumont sand dunes and uh, yeah that'll be next month so basically yeah I've been focusing and the last two or three days been working on the toy hauler um, getting it cleaned up I put new lights in it I put new LED strip lights in it um, some other some other stuff to it. I had to touch up some paint because of overspray from painting the cabinets. Um, ended up fixing the the stove, the little igniter igniter thing wasn't working, so I took it apart. I was gonna order another one for 15 bucks. But you know me, I'm that cheap. So I ended up taking it apart, and there's a little it's like a plunger in there that goes and it fires like you spin it and then it fires and that's what causes the spark I guess um, anyway inside there the plastic ring was had a piece broken on it and that piece was lodging it from striking basically so I just took that piece out and it works good now it ignites My arms getting tired um, and then uh, so yeah, so I replaced one of the roof vents with a 
max air vent roof got that done uh, thing works pretty good Yeah, so I put that roof in and works great. I took a bunch of trim pieces off uh, from the rest of the trailer. Um, painted them white. They were kind of yellowy. So I just, just upgrade, updating it a little bit. So then it started to rain and um, noticed around the air conditioning water was coming in, dripping in. Um, so, and also in the front of the trailer water was coming in I noticed water was coming in on the cabinet where they had repaired the roof um, they did a good job repairing it uh, it just looks like where there's like some trim in the front that connects the fiberglass to the roof membrane whatever you call it anyway they, it looks like they used uh, like silicone caulking and it had just torn away from the metal so because Silicone caulking is not good for stuff that are two different materials, like uh, you know, whatever. There's it's just it's just not good for two different materials that expand and contract differently. So the roofing material is expanding and contracting a lot more than the uh, the metal. So it uh, basically peels away once it cures. Once it cures and something expands. It, Peels away. Anyway, that's that's what happened. That's what I'm hoping the leak was. So I cleaned all that up. It was probably like uh, I don't know, five feet, and then maybe like a foot or two towards the front. So I cleaned all that up and put the right um, lapping caulk. I don't know. It's a real pliable polyurethane caulking, so it, so it can expand and contract. I mean, it can expand and contract probably a good three sixteenths of an inch, or I mean more, three eighths of an inch is what I was trying to say. Um, so yeah. So I ended up doing that for the most part of the morning, or no, afternoon yesterday. Um, kid's air filter. He changes oil, so I always check on his work because that's the way I am. Uh, took the air filter off air filter was plugged clean the air filter notice there was two i don't know probably like eighth inch by like two inches two of those were slits in the air filter because the air filter is hanging so thankfully four months ago i bought an air filter smv air filter at a yard sale for 20 bucks and uh, put that in there and ended up making it a bracket to hold the air filter up so it doesn't rub. So, anyway. Yeah, ended up doing a lot of stuff on the days off. Like I said, I had to do a DOT physical. I said it in another video, but I did a DOT physical on Thursday. So Wednesday basically just hid because uh, otherwise I'd be making noise and got to do a hearing test and I would have failed my hearing test so anyway guys yeah so got some dress clothes back there hanging up and uh, yeah so I'm gonna work my seven days today's Monday so not tomorrow but the next Tuesday um, I'll be flying to Denver Gotta go to Denver for my nephew's wedding, which is on the 30th, so I'm just gonna go visit, hang out with my brother for, I don't know, a week. Basically, my day's off. I'm gonna be out there hanging out with my brother. And, uh, yeah, I gotta bring my medical card deal to the DMV. I did it online, so if they don't email me by the time I get to my brother's house, then I'll just bring my medical card into the DMV and let them make their copies. Um, anyway, so yeah, so 
I'm gonna go to a wedding. Wedding's on the 30th in Denver. And um uh, gonna hang out with my brother for a couple days after that. And then um yeah, go back to work. I'm gonna go back to work for one day and then I'll go I'm going to be off for I think 10 days. And in those 10 days going to attempt and hopefully succeed and I'm going to redo the whole roof of my house so tear down it's gonna be a pain in the butt getting all that asphalt out um, it's gonna be about eight thousand dollars of material probably more probably like eighty two hundred dollars of material uh, mainly because I'm gonna redo the a pitch on the roof I probably won't do any video on it <clears throat> maybe I will. Maybe I'll just pull out my phone and be like, this is what I'm doing. This is what I got done. But anyway, I'm going to do it in stages. I'm going to do the, the kids' roof, the pitch and everything first. Um, get that plywood, 2 by 6s everything done. Hopefully I can figure out how to do it. I got it all figured out in my head. I just hopefully I can... That's the word I'm looking for. Hopefully I can just do it. Um, anyway. So, um, I'm gonna, I gotta do that. That section first. And then I, I guess I'll just do the garage last. Um, because I gotta take like this one cooler and everything off. Set it on top of the garage while I re-roof and shingle and everything. The house. So, okay. sorry about my finger. But anyway, yeah. So hopefully I can get all that done. I'm not looking forward to it. But it'll be what it'll be. I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to try. Because right now that roof is... It's almost flat. But where it's not flat, it kind of pools. So when we get rain and water, water just sits in those areas. Probably about half an inch of water. So... And then... Uh, just where it's going to seep through and everything so anyway guys um yeah i'm gonna let you guys go get off here the sun's getting bright getting in my eyeballs no respect no respect all right guys see you in the next video thanks for watching subscribe comment later